All right, let's go. I'm gonna show you boys and girls, just boys, how to set up your ASU jacket. Make it nice and crisp for inspections. After you graduated with a few quarters, nail clipper, and a generous amount of Q-tips. Off with that. Anyway. So, first things first, your name. An easy way how to do it is to take the middle part of your name, whether it be the letter itself or the space in between the letters that make up your name. Like in this case, my battle buddy Massman. It's got eight letters. So on the space between the S and the M, I'll line it up between that is where I'm putting half and half of the nameplate on. Between this button right here. Now, obviously, since I'm in AIT, I get stuff I can use a little bit of a tools, but in this case, going back to the basics. See? Perfect. Right between S and M. And as far as the as far as Away from the upper seam of the pocket does not matter. Don't deal with that at all. It's quite simply, you line it up between the button or the seam of the button and the top of the pocket. You don't have to worry about the sides. You just gotta worry about lining it up good and center between top of the pocket and the button. And making it center from the, buck, from the button to your nameplate. It's that easy. Simple enough. Next, badges. Easy, easy and simple. Got nice stay brights, nice and shiny. Now, the trick with these is, here's where the quarters come in. A quarter alone is a sixteenth of an inch, which should mean two quarters is an eighth of an inch. Now, like the nameplate, this badge, if you have one, it gets kind of weird when you have two and three, should be center of the pocket. Now, what you do with the quarters is you take these two quarters Put them at the edge of the seam. Like so. Simple enough. That's an eighth of an inch away from the seam of the top pocket. Now that you have your measurement in, you simply take something straight other than you. Line it up. See. Perfect. Easy as pie. Then you poke it in and add the stoppers. Boom. Easy. See how it's straight on? Boom. Flush. All the way down, straight line. Boom. Anyway, so. This little shit right here it's the reason why we have these things. Also, trainees are not allowed to have any scissors because privates are dumb. You just simply take your nail clippers and then clip it off. Simple. Some more over here. Repeat, rinse and repeat. It's that simple. Attention to detail, your sergeant major will love you. Back to this. The badges, I understand, are kind of weird because sometimes you see two, sometimes you see uh, three. I think the maximum you can only have is two or three. I will figure out later because I am just a private. Anyway, back to the drawing board. Back with your two quarters. Same thing with the ribbons. 
and it's just as simple with the ribbons. As an extension off the badge, you'll finally see why I did the badge first before the ribbons. Because so I can line it up off the badge from the ribbons. And the same technique I used getting an eighth inch off the seam, the badge, do it from the opposite side. Two quarters, off the seam, boom, there's your measurement right there. And it should look like... So, there right there, boom, perfect. Simple enough. Yeah. If you find duct tape, too easy. Just wrap that stuff around your hand, go like that, or better yet, Lit roller. Cool. Now, that's done. Easy, easy, too easy, private. Too easy. Anyway, now, back to the coins. Quarter. A full quarter is about an inch. Savvy? Cool. Put that around your collar right here. Make it flush with the end and the stitching where the collar meets the mantle or the lapel. Excuse me, here we go. This right here, make it flush with that. Then with the stitching between the collar and the lapel. And here is where your brass comes in. You do this to both sides, and an easy hack is to get the U, the US, in line with this crease right here that runs down your body from your neck to your chest. You go at the end right here, you make sure the brass right here is centered this line right there. Whoa, hold on, my shit changed. And you're keeping the U in line with the crease. There's a lot of stuff going on here, but I'm telling you, it's easy. Make sure you keep it centered right there, and the quarter will do the spacing for you. That's simple. And it should look something like so. And. Oh crap, there's smudges. Whatever shall I do? Q-tip. Simple enough. Just take it and buff it out. Make it nice and shiny. The cotton wubs away all that nasty, greasy finger filth. And instead uses it to shine up the brass itself which looks pretty good right now so I won't deal with it much later then you do the same thing that you did right here with the other color piece right here simple enough abra cadabra boom that's simple from here to there Quite simply, quarter space right there, which should be an inch. Again, just for verification. Boom. Then over here. Boom. That's simple. There you go. You got your brass set up per standard. Simple as that. And whenever there's grease on it, simply just take a Q-tip and go over it. Get your stay bright done, or your uh, stay bright marksmanship badge done, which you should have gotten as soon as you got a basic. It's the first thing I recommend you do is to get yourself a stay bright marksmanship badge, even though you're not going to use it for a while because no one's going to use the rifle anymore. 
poor M16. You got your ribbon set up perfectly. And to follow what I said about one quarter being a sixteenth of an inch thick, that means all four of them together should make a quarter inch and should obviously fit between everything just nicely. Look at that shit. Name plate, back to the beginning, right between your name. Don't care about the sides at all. Even if it looks weird, that's a standard. Center from the button, center of your name, the top and bottom of the button right here. Should be right there. Perfect. Next part. Bonus tip. If you don't want to make your pockets look like garbage, poke, th poke your badges and your nameplate all the way through the pocket. Like so. When you look in the back right here. Oh, shoot. That's where that one goes. Got a rogue. Oh, you son of a gun. Come here. Boom. Easy as that. Poke it all the way through the coat. You shouldn't have to use this outside pocket at all. You don't need to. Same thing with the nameplate. You poke it all the way through the pocket. So that when you're wearing it, you don't get this weird bulging thing going on right here. It looks like garbage. Don't do it. Should go all the way through. And now, moving on to your white shirt. Now, for the Class A white shirt, you don't have to worry about any of the stuff going on in this area. Any of the stuff going on in this area. You just have to worry about your collar and your nameplate for the Class A white shirt. That's all you got to worry about. Simple enough. Nameplate, rank brass for your collar. Simple enough. And it's still brass, so yes, it does get smudges on it still, which is easily wiped off by what? Your cotton Q tips. Easy enough. Now, same with the nameplate as you did on the Class A coat. Put center from the top and the button, top of the seam with the pocket, and the button. So, boom, right there. Like so. Simple enough. See? In line, perfectly. Center of your name. Easy enough. And now, your brass for your collars right here. Simple enough. Your quarter should be an inch long. Should be an inch of difference between the corner right here and your insignia. Easy as so. So, take that, place it right there. And then you put your insignia on top. Which would just be a chevron. And I don't know why it's taken being rough like this. That in there just for signature purposes. Boom. So get it all nice and flat. Quarter, see me on top. As in so boom, right there. See how it's in line with the top of the quarter? To the end. Boom. Perfectly okay for examination by George Washington. Thank you, Mr. President. And again, Q-tip. Get all them fingerprints off so no one knows who did it. <laughs> Next, repeat with the other side and you should be done. And here we go. Easy as that. Going to this side. Boom. Looks good. Again, if it's smudged up. Dress it up nicely with the Q-tip. Nameplate, looking pristine. And that's it, your Class A's. Now, I could go on to Class B's, the long sleeve and the Class B short sleeve, but I'm not going to.
because that's another topic for a different time. Everything should be good right there. Next thing is if you have any dirt spots on your Class A uniforms, like around here somewhere, simply take a damp cloth with some warm water and rub over it. However, most things should be simply cleaned up with a lint roller. You can buy these anywhere from your shop at to your bigger PXs. You can even buy the smaller ones to keep in your pocket to walk around with you so you can be square away all the time. And if you guys want, I can also show you how to tie your ties the right way. Bless you, mass man. Anyway, that concludes today's video. Have a good one. Stay sharp.